Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is a case for forgiveness, or the case for forgiveness with Dr. Cupid Poe. And uh, we're fortunate to have Dr. Poe with us because he has been with us on a number of occasions. And at each session, he brings a lot of excellent information. And Dr. Poe, as I said, we're just delighted to have you here. But now, what I'd like to do this morning is to uh, talk about, as you indicated, a case for forgiveness. What is the case for forgiveness this morning? And I guess uh, after we talk about your background, your education, and some of the things that motivated you to uh, do what you do, then I think we'll talk about uh, the question to you will be to give us the case for forgiveness. Why should people forgive? But first, let's talk about your background, your education, and some of the things that were important in terms of leading you to us this morning. I came to uh, Tennessee State University in 1956. I uh, finished there in 1960. I went to Meharry and finished there in 1964. Did an internship in Chicago and was drafted into the military. And after I completed two years in the military, I came back and did a residency in psychiatry in Berkeley, California. And I uh, was in practice in California for a period of about uh, nine years. Came back to Nashville in 76, where I worked at Meharry Medical College for a while. And, uh, for about the last two years now, I've been in practice, private practice in Dixon, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. I'm also an assistant minister of a church in Laverne, Tennessee mm -hmm. called Christ Miracle Chapel. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, Dr. Poe, you've been involved in this whole question of forgiveness yourself for a long time, and you really have uh, counseled a large number of folks in terms of the idea of forgiveness. Ordinarily, though, Dr. Poe, when we think in terms of uh, dealing with forgiveness, I think that we think in terms of the church more than anything else, but you're trying to broaden that as a psychiatrist uh, this morning to tell us the case. What is the case for, why should people forgive, Dr. Pope? Well, um, uh, there's been quite a bit of research done over the last, I'd say, 20 years, and the research shows that there are health benefits uh, for persons who are willing to practice forgiveness. I'm reminded of some research that was done a few years ago at Stanford University mm -hmm. by a psychologist by the name of Dr. Fred Luskin. Mm -hmm. uh, he took two groups of students and he advised one group to imagine getting even with persons who had hurt them in the past. He advised the other group to imagine forgiving those people who had hurt them mm -hmm. in the past. They did uh, muscle tension reading and blood pressure readings mm -hmm. before uh, the experiment began, before he asked them to, mm -hmm. to either forgive or to, uh, uh, to get even. And they found out that the group that uh, practiced uh, forgiving persons who had offended them mm -hmm. in the past, their muscle tension was lower mm -hmm. and their blood pressure had dropped some. Mm -hmm. So we know uh, from a number of studies now that uh, the practice of forgiveness has a beneficial effect, mm -hmm. not only on the body, but on the mind as well. It enables people to have better relationships. Uh, it lowers blood pressure. Uh, enables you to cope with stress better, uh, and so there are other benefits as well. And I think, Dr. Poe, you would admit that uh, today there are so many instances that we can uh, talk about uh, where unforgiveness unforgi uh, has not been the uh, primary consideration, and that because of this, this has led to a large uh, number of tragic situations and et cetera. Let's talk about uh, some of those individuals who have did not think about forgiveness from that perspective. Well, you know, the, uh, let's go back to the uh, massacre at, at Columbine High School uh, some years ago. I think it's been about 10 or 12 years ago now. Uh, those two students who perpetrated that violence, uh, I think they were on the receiving end of bullying. Uh, we also know, uh, based on uh, the information we have about the murders that occurred at uh, Virginia Tech mm -hmm. in 2007, that the perpetrator there, Cho, uh, had been uh, bullied to some extent, mm -hmm. uh, had been teased. Uh, uh, we don't know exactly uh, what the situation was with uh, James Holm, mm -hmm. uh, the person who uh, mm -hmm. uh, committed the massacre at the theater uh, in rural Colorado, mm -hmm. but we do know he was somewhat of a loner mm -hmm. 
and uh, it's possible that he experienced some abuse mm -hmm. himself. Mm -hmm. And uh, so uh, if those persons, the Columbine students, the uh, Cho at Virginia Tech, and I think very likely uh, James Holm, mm -hmm. if they had been persons who were prone to forgive, mm -hmm. I, I doubt seriously whether they would have taken the, uh, the, the hint uh, the, the acts that they did. Mm -hmm. And so forgiveness is a very, very important consideration for all of us. Is that what we're saying? Very much, mm -hmm. because a lot of violence, one-on-one -on -one violence, and uh, violence towards groups has a lot to do with revenge. Okay, and we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break.